And welcome to another uh, Slay the Spire stream. I'm your host, Vegetable Bread. Uh, we're going to be doing some more Ascension 20 heart kills, or trying. Well, I'm not necessarily going to get there. Um, I think that we're on silent, but let me check. Yeah, last was ironclad. Okay, starting the silent mode then. Let's see what Niaos do that for us. Random common relic is really nice. The rare colorless card. Um, there's some pretty good rare colorless cards, um, specifically like Panache um, adds quite a bit to um, to Silence um, Arsenal if you're doing the Shiv thing. There's an early shop, um, so that somewhat discourages us from uh, spending all of our gold. Um, Looks like there's a pretty safe left route, left route, uh, which does include that shop. Um, so we do these three fights: fire, elite, fire, elite, fire, elite. Um, seems like a pretty good way to power up. Not too many hallway fights, um, and it does require us to keep that 99 gold. So I think we'll grab the common relic. I uh, could go for the card reward, but um, I think common relics are generally better. Oh joy! We found the boot. I should be able to lock out here. And on the turn when we need damage, we don't get it. Good morning, Akiran. How's it going? Just gonna block out here since we can't do much damage. Doing okay. Um, a lot of people around here are worried about health stuff, but uh, I am been healthy so far, so hopefully it remains that way. Uh, Sucker Punch is the best against an early Gremlin knob. Deadly Poison does the most damage, and Backflip is really nice for scaling your defenses. Uh, scaling defenses is not currently really a priority, so let's go for the Sucker Punch. Um, slice is okay since we have the boot, I guess. Um, it's kind of a stretch. We have a quick slash on sale. We could do quick slash and well laid plans. Seems pretty good. Yep, we're both uh, we're both hanging out here today. Wife, my wife set up an office upstairs, so coconuts. Maybe she'll have some more company. She won't come around here and bother me so much. Um, I don't know where she is right now. Maybe she's upstairs. Uh, not a huge fan of picking Quick Slash, usually, but um, we do, uh, this shop is, is one of our opportunities to power up, so we need to take that before we start fighting Gremlin Nub. And I guess Quick Slash is the best way to do that. So let's do that. Um, and I think Well Laid Plane's over Deadly Poison. Um, they, can't, they can't hear you right now, but I will let them know you say hi. Um, we could take Jack of All Trades. It's kind of silly. Lolly Plans is probably, a, probably the pick. Lolly Plans is very good against sentries, too. Alright. Um, okay, we can have an Envenom if we want. Envenom plus the boot. Hmm. Let's see what this card is first. Oh, we can have Cloak and Dagger, too. Alright, well, if we're getting Cloak and Dagger, we might as well take a Venom. Alright, we need to get an upgrade on, on that Venom, because Venom is terrible until it's upgraded. Should be able to kill him next turn. We need to find one strike. So punch will do. Okay, okay. Um, we kind of got a different source of poison. Um, Deadly poison does sort of ramp up the poison damage. 
makes it hit a little harder. Uh, I'm not against it. Um, it's not good against um, uh, Gremlin Knob, obviously. I mean, it kind of is if you get it on turn one. Um, but uh, against sentries, we now have like two powers that are pretty good. So we'll be able to knock down their artifact charges with um, Envenom. And so Deadly Poison will actually land on them. So I guess I get Um, Deadly Poison Strike can kill the Spike Slime. Um, uh, Sucker Punch blocks for three. I guess Acidic Slime. Um, so the most block we can get is spending two energy killing the Spike Slime and then five, one on blocking for five. Um, wait, is that true? Because then we take seven, whereas if we block for... 10 and Sucker Punch the Spike Slime, we take 5. So I guess 5 is less than 7. Um, although it is nice to get the Spike Slime down um, as soon as possible. I think in this case I'll try to defend the health total. Yeah, because now we get a turn like this. Uh, so this does 9 damage, so if we invent him and then play these two, we do kill him. Um, and we get to develop in Venom. Hey, Drezik. It's going good. Um, I do get an email from Twitch. Um, I actually uh, record the results of that email. And if you guys want to see my spreadsheet. Um, but yeah, I, I do. I also get one from um, Streamlabs. Um, um, but I usually use the Twitch one. Oh, I forgot about the boot. Yeah, I would say three hours is about right. Um, I haven't, like, paid attention to exactly uh, how fast it is. Um, all right. We've got a second clock cloak and dagger. Uh, that seems pretty good. Um, I, w I do want to get those upgraded. Um, and we're falling a little bit behind on upgrades here, because we've got sort of... If we pick this, we've got three cards that super need upgrades. <clears throat> huh. I wonder what's... Uh, I wonder what got clogged up in their system. What did you stream yesterday? Also, maybe it got, like... Filtered under spam or something, maybe your uh, spam filters change. Brawlhalla, I'm not familiar with that. What is that game? Maybe I should just come by and watch your stream. The easiest way to catch up. Uh, yep, yeah, we need the Venom upgraded more than anything else, I think. Alright, here they are, it's sentries. Well, well laid plans is excellent against sentries. Yeah, thanks, uh, Drezik. Yeah, it's, it's going really well. I think the, the consistent stream times uh, helped out a lot. Um, Hoff gave me a host one time, and that really uh, helped help me inflect. Um, but I think the most helpful thing is just, like, being on every day and streaming for, like, at least uh, three hours. Um, sometimes, like, your followers really start to take off after three hours, because um, for me, that's about how long it takes me to get to, like, the top of the list for uh, Slay the Spire streamers. I like, like, the top row. Um, that seems like a pretty important inflection point for getting new viewers. Uh, we're definitely going to block for at least 5 here. Um, I guess we could block for 10. I think I'll weaken this guy so that next turn if I draw uh, neutralize, um, I can block with that. We can just block for 15, that's not too bad. Um, block for 15, hold the deadly poison. Okay, like that. Uh, we are going a little bit too slow. We didn't get our power developed on the first turn or anything. Power is like the last card in the deck. Um. I definitely want a Cloak and Dagger. I 
I guess I'll just neutralize on the same sentry. I need to focus him down before he gets to attack again. Uh, and I'll take four to develop a little bit more damage. Keep the survivor. Oh, hey! Aphilia, that's very nice. Um, congratulations. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Like, so my main purpose for streaming is to, um, is to build a community so that I can get feedback on my game uh, and, like, have a have a group to launch things into, but uh, if uh, if Twitch wants to give me some money as well, I'm not opposed. Twitch, if you're listening, send money, please. Um, okay, so we finally got one of the got one of them killed. Hope just before his second attack phase, uh, and we should be able to, uh, with the help of these powers, um, uh, protect them, ourselves from damage for the rest of the fight. Hopefully. It looks like we didn't get quite enough damage to kill him on this cycle. Oh wait, we did, because of the boot. Thanks, boot. But we're on our own for drawing defense next turn. Yeah, I, I also work from home. It's um, uh, it's something I guess everybody's going to have to get used to for the next couple of weeks at least. I don't know. Is the is the UK on like a lockdown like we are here in the US? It presumably is. I know there's been a lot of cases in Europe. Took a bunch of damage in that fight. Ball of Flame is interesting. Ooh, dash. Dash or footwork. It's a tough choice. Nope, coconut showed up in, the, in anyway. Come here. No, she just wanted to tell me she's gonna go eat some food. Um, what attack do I want in my opening hand? I want to pick Footwork to make the deck better, but I want to pick Dash to have something that I can put in Bottled Flame. I guess I could put Quick Slash in Bottled Flame. Get it upgraded. Maybe Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch upgraded is pretty good. Turn 1, mitigate damage. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll take the Footwork instead. Dash is really good, though. And the next fight does have a 50% chance of being Gremlin Nub. Yeah, I guess bottled... Um, hmm. I guess I wouldn't want to bottle a dash or a, a sneaky strike. Or a... What's that card? Or a sucker punch against either Gremlin Nub or Log of Ulan. So I guess I shouldn't think about those two in the context of this pick, because that's not the way in which it matters. Um, so I'm going to take the footwork and bottle the Sucker Punch, because um, I think it's the best long-term solution. Alright, what's in the box? White Beast Statue. Well, that's definitely the best relic so far. These two are pretty meh. Alright, it is Gremlin Nub. We can well laid plans and keep the sucker punch. Which is pretty nice. So we can weaken him on the like big attack turn. Uh, I definitely reached the minimum for affiliate. My average uh, in recent streams has been like five or six viewers. Uh, it did take take a while to get there for sure. Um, Uh, but I haven't gotten the follower count yet. Um, uh, I guess we just Sucker Punch now. He's already weak. Um, uh, so he'll still be weak next turn if I Sucker Punch him. 
Um, it's not clear what I hold on to here. I guess I hold on to Deadly Poison. Uh, they, I guess these both do 5 damage, huh? Because of uh, the boot. The Deadly Poison has the potential to do 9 damage. Uh, but Cloak and Dagger has the potential to block. So, yeah, I think I'll hold Deadly Poison, but it's um, I could go either way. Um, okay, so are we going for the... And Venom is, is shy this game, this run, doesn't want to come out. We could do 9 damage with a Deadly Poison, and if we do, he would be at um, essentially 27. Um, and this is only going to do 6, and none of these... Oh, so I guess like 7. Um, so that doesn't really seem like enough. Uh, I think this is probably the Sneko Oil. Um, let's just see if we get anything good. Alright, we get to get a 0 amount of Strike, and a... One mod of quick slash, so that's pretty good. I guess let's quick slash first and see what we draw. Okay. Um, we could cloak a dagger here if we think we're going to get a kill next turn. Uh, it does five damage, so he'd be at 17. Uh, almost certainly getting a kill. Um, is there any way to miss? The minimum damage is defend, defend, neutralize, cloak and dagger. Yeah, because these both do five, so that's 10. Actually, we could get 16, so we could miss. It's possible. Uh, but that's... Um, it's a pretty worst case scenario. We have to draw these cards specifically, these four, and then not this one. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll block a little bit and get enough damage that we should have lethal next turn. Uh, none of these help. Um, yeah, 75 average viewers seems like a lot. Um, although if you look at like the people who, like I, I think if I streamed for like eight hours a day, it, would, it wouldn't take too long to get there, you know? Because you, your viewer count, like, goes up over the course of a stream, which is, like, kind of frustrating, right? Because you spend the first, like, three hours building your views, and then it's like, oh, and now I'm leaving. <laughs> right when my views are at their max. Um, stream's over. Uh, I guess I'll keep the Deadly Poison, because it does the most damage. But... Um, we did not get the minimum damage. We're safe. I do not know what the difference between partner and affiliate is. Uh, I was talking to a um, uh, talking to a friend uh, a week ago or so who like used to have some contact with that ecosystem, but he just said like there's fewer partners than affiliates. He didn't really know what the, what the actual difference was. I'm kind of looking forward to getting like um, presumably this is like part of being an affiliate or partner or whatever, but like I want people to get points when they watch the channel. Um, and then be able to use those points on things. Um, that's exciting for me. Huh. Uh, do we pick any of these? I'm not excited about Slice, Prepared, or Eviscerate. Um, uh, it's really critical for me to get to a point where I can ha collect feedback from the community. Um, and I want to do that sort of before... I am asking them to play test a game so that the feedback system is already in place and can just accept game feedback. Um, and I think possibly through those stream points is an option, um, or at least it's an option to like bootstrap the system. Um, I think we're here. Oh boy. I think this is probably the hardest um, hard fight. And this is our first hard fight. Um, we got to kill Fat Gremlin if we can. Um, let's see, we do... Yeah, so we can... This does 5, so he's at 12, and then we can do... Sucker Punch Strike, it's all of our mana, but we are blocking out when we do it. Um, I guess we can Quick Slash instead of Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch doesn't actually apply a status effect, because he's going to be dead, so... Yeah, okay. Alright, well, we dodged the status effect, but we need to kill this Gremlin Wizard now, um, and he's getting going to get protected. Um, I think we punch the shield Gremlin. We don't want to make him make, make the mad Gremlin mad. Um, and we can't do unblocked damage to the wizard. Oh, great. Okay, we needed that really badly for the shield Gremlin to protect the mad Gremlin, because now we need to kill the Gremlin Wizard. 
um, which we can do. Tick five, but I am pretty happy to not be taking like 30, so that's fine. Let's kill him slow. Uh, neutralize kills shield gremlin. Um, so we could also put weak on mad gremlin. Forgot I had done Chaku. So we have uh, 18 damage, 2 poison. That's not enough, so I'll just block out. Wait till he doesn't have armor. There we go. Okay. That's right, as soon as you get a highlighted message, it, it must be red, right? I don't know how customizable that system is. Um, can you just, like... Cause you, can you, like, hook that up to, like, bot commands and stuff? Presumably you can. Um, you can, like, build a whole... whole little framework there. Speaking of frameworks, footwork. Let's get that. I think we need to rest again. Uh, pretty low on health. Next one is Logavulin or Sentries, and we probably don't lose as much health to them on average, but um, as to Gremlin Nub. Here is Logavulin. So we want to get powers developed. Um, I guess I can't ask for too much better of a start than Double Footwork, Deadly Poison. Um, no, I guess I'll wait until Invenom comes around and wake him up with that. Read. Oh, I should have done a, an attack to charge Ninjaku. That's a mistake. I have a lot of powers in this deck, I realize. Okay, so now we need to wake him up. Um, there's no way to make the, make the math work super well for... Um, uh, so that our... We're always missing one... Um, uh, poison here. Hulkenegger is crazy with these relics. We get uh, 10 block and a poison from it. Whew. <laughs> uh, I think I should double Cloak and Dagger here because that's great. Blocking out and putting a bunch of poison on. Yes, please. Whew. Yeah, these relics actually work pretty well together. Uh, Nunchaku and the boot and all these powers. I like it. Um, I think I'll block with Survivor and, uh, and hold the defend. He's not attacking next turn, so... We're just sort of holding the, the defend speculatively. Um, in case we want to hold it next turn as well. Yeah, it looks like we do, but we could have gotten away with not holding it as well. Also, we just have lethal from ending turn, so great. Love that was great for um, silent. Poison potion is too kinda. I think poison potion is probably better than colorless potion. Ooh, noxious fumes. Definitely seems like. Kind of thing we're trying to do. We really need to find um, 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 like Sneko Skull. Sneko Skull would be really good with Venom. And uh, Noxious Fumes. Oh, surprise job. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. I don't have enough money. Well, I guess we're not finding it. There goes the specimen, too. The two best uh, poison relics, just poof. You went to a question mark, therefore you lose them. Well, that hurts a lot. That is not fun. Um, dang. We could buy a cultist potion. We have two potions already, though. 
You got Mind Blast? You got kind of a weak turn one. We're usually trying to set up powers and stuff, though. And we have a friggin' bottled Sucker Punch that's unupgraded. I really wish I could find Apotheosis here. We're so behind on upgrades. Sucker Punch, all these powers, the Cloak and Daggers, well laid plans, Deadly Poison. Man, what a bummer of a shop. <laughs> yeah, Daylight Savings has been the same thing. Maybe I should I should have been streaming for an extra hour to let you catch up. I, I had noticed that you hadn't come at the beginning of streams. So I was like, oh, shoot. I lost a Kieran, but no. Now you're here. Um, concentrate is probably bad, right? Is this an Infinite Blade stick? Surely not, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Is it just a card remove? God, this is a gross, gross uh, shop. You're in like uh, Arizona or something. California's actually, I think this is probably our last time doing Daylight Savings. We passed a, um, what do you call those things? Referendum. Um, Huh. We passed a referendum that um, that enables the state legislature to uh, stop daylight savings time, but then they have to like they have to ask the Senate or something. Uh, I don't remember exactly how it works, but they can't just do it. They gotta all be on the same page. But yeah, I'm excited about not having daylight savings time anymore because it seems so silly, very confusing. Um, I think I just card remove a strike, but I don't feel good about it. I don't like it. All right, we need an upgrade, um, so I think I'm going to take one, even though we don't have like a ton of hit points. Noxious Fumes has such a huge upgrade, an extra 50% of what it does. I guess you could say the same thing for footwork. Ah, oh, man. This is tough. I don't really need to retain two cards. Although this one does twice as much <laughs> uh, of what it does. Sucker Punch is, um, is good in this fight, kind of. Um, if we can find Neutralize on either turn 1, 2, or 3... Um, then, uh, then he'll be weak on his big attack turn if we get Sucker Punch upgraded, because Sucker Punch is, is uh, bottled. I think getting him weak is pretty important. Did miss you, Kieran. It's uh, yesterday's uh, stream, for the first like hour and a half, I had uh, like zero viewers, which is very upsetting. Currently we have three, so that's nice. I try not to look at that number too much, because it's, it's kind of distracting, but... Uh, um, yeah, it was, uh, nobody was talking yesterday. I was like, oh man, what am I doing wrong? Uh, also, there was somebody fixing my door, so <laughs> that was what I was assuming was going wrong. Um, Cloak and Dagger procs um, uh, Envenom an extra time. So Cloak and Dagger is pretty important to upgrade. Um, I think I'll go for Cloak and Dagger. Alright. In Venom turn one, that's excellent. I like it. We're pretty much just trying to get maximum poison here. Um, we don't necessarily need this poison, because this poison we can do at any time. Um, it it kind of depends on if we're like racing to get him to 76, or if we're trying to hold back so that we can accumulate as much poison as possible. Uh, but I don't know which mode I'm in yet, so I'm gonna hold back this potion, because I can choose to do it later, and I'm only missing one damage, basically. Or I guess I'm missing... No, I, I think the way to think about it is that I'm missing six damage. Uh, but I can do it later.
Alright, well, we got a bunch more powers down. Um, yeah, we have to rely on finding Neutralize next turn, unfortunately. We do have Quick Slash to help us find it, but... Um, could be a little bit painful if we miss. We miss. We can... Um, the max block is Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger Defend. Uh, which blocks for 16... Um, 23. Um, we could block for three less to develop footwork as well. Uh, sorry, I don't have a Discord command. Um, I don't. Ha I haven't set up any button stuff here. I'll I'll be your robot. Um, here, I need a little robot face. Um, shoot, what's that robot that people use? I'm terrible at Twitch emojis. Um, I think I'm going to footwork double cloak and dagger. We're surviving it either way, uh, and I would like to have cloak and footwork developed. Mm, actually, that's wrong. I think the health is more important. Let's see what's in the power potion. Um, actually, why would we do that this turn? Maybe we're looking for wraith form. Wraith form blocks for 37 here. But then by the time we, um, uh, by the time we break him, we're going to be uh, out of vulnerable. So I'm using, um, I'm using Streamlabs, yeah. Um, and I've got the little, I, do, I picked it up for the follow-up notifications, but I haven't, like, really super invested in the, in the ecosystem. Um, I presume that eventually I'll build a bunch of custom stuff, but I don't, I haven't started that yet. Um... I think the correct thing for right now is to just get max blocks. Um, I'm going to restart the fight. I wasn't expecting the Nunchaku prop, so it turns out I can get more block. Do Streamlabs have a solution for... Um, um, whatchamacallit, for robots that say Discord? Are you saying I could just type these things and it'll work? Oh my god. Amazing. Uh, so we're going to footwork first, and then this Cloak and Dagger is going to proc Nunchaku so that we can max out our block. Okay, not too bad. We're only taking uh, nine damage here. Yeah, I kind of figured you were like a super Twitch user because you like, okay, so the kind of person who's going to be the first viewer on a channel is the kind of person who like likes to be the first viewer on a channel, right? Um, that's, that's something I call the tattoo parlor principle. So like if you walk into a tattoo, tattoo parlor, everybody's going to have a ton of tattoos because you're in a tattoo parlor, right? So like, when I when you start when you're looking at people in Twitch chat, particularly on Twitch chat with like, uh, like new streamers or like, people who, who are just starting, um, you're gonna find people like the kind of people who would want to show up there. Um, so I I I was thinking about asking you if you wanted to mod, um, mod this channel. I don't want to like add more responsibilities, but I I knew you would you would know how to do it. Um, so I think we're trying to develop some poison here. Um, okay, so now we need to do math. So he's currently at um, uh, 95 minus 12 is um, 83, and we don't want to put him below 76. So we're going to do 7 damage to bring him to exactly 76. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we don't want to use this poison potion. I'm glad I didn't use it originally, um, because next turn is our break turn. kind of a mop mop break turn. Um, I will throw the poison potion in there just for six damage. Um, hmm. So they're gonna break at 60 or 55. 
yeah, I appreciate it. No, I, it was a, it was a big, um, it was a big confidence boost. I like, I was looking at my spreadsheet where I keep the, the tally from Twitch of like how many viewers you had and stuff. Um, and on that first day, I was like, damn, how did I get a follower on the first day? Uh, and, and uh, actually, I think somebody did actually um, follow before you, Akiran, but uh, but you were the second one. Um, yeah, and I feel kind of bad because like as the um, I had a stream a couple of days ago where I had an, uh, I had um, um, like an average viewer count of like twelve, and it felt a little different. It did not. It didn't feel as much like I was able to chat with people. It was more like there was a crowd of people shouting out card names. <laughs> Um, um, so we're definitely playing two slimes and retaining a survivor, but do we play Poison Potion? So if we play Poison Potion, it does 12 damage, because it does it to both big slimes. Um, but if we hold it, then it does probably 9 damage to a slime. Which is less, but it's to one slime instead of to two slimes. I think I'll hold it. Okay, they are not attacking, which is very, very nice of them. I appreciate it. We're going to focus on Spike Slime first. We're going to try to do as much damage to him as we can without breaking him this turn. So that uh, magic number for him is 28. Um, yeah, I do know how to mod you. Do, uh, would you like to be modded? Um, so he's currently at um, 36. So if we do five more damage to him, he doesn't break. Wait, 36? Yeah, so we go to 31. Okay, so that's as much damage as we can do to him. Um, so then we start on the other guy. <laughs> Very well. Um, uh, it's dangerous to go out alone. Here, take this. Um, I would like to Sucker Punch on Acid Slime to reduce the damage that's coming in. Sucker Punch, the survivor probably blocks out. Um, so let's do that. And then get a little bit of extra damage into Spike Slime before he breaks. Um, okay, so we probably want to break one of the two little slimes. Let's see, they take two, then three. So they, uh... Um, we could just break both little slimes. He's not breaking this turn, he's going to 30. But if I hit him, he does break, so I guess I don't want to hit him. Oh, that's disappointing. But he's breaking on his own. He's going to 23 and breaking, but I uh, so I was hoping to do damage this turn, but I can't, so. All right, can we kill the, that one? So we need to do 21 to him. This does seven, this does five, this does uh, six. So like 13, 18, no, we can't kill him. Uh, Alright, so let's quick slash and see what we find. Uh, these all do 5 damage, and we only get 2 of them, because Nunchaku's not triggering. So I guess we just defend and take 11. Alright, so he's dead. Um, so we just need to reduce damage from him, and it looks like we're killing him too, so that's great. Alright, not a perfect fight, but um, a good one. Nightmare, Storm of Steel, or Grand Finale. But we don't have any combos with Grand Finale. Um, we... I love Nightmare. Nightmare is one of my favorite cards, so I'm highly inclined to, uh, to pick that. Um, I saw the first meme. I have not seen... Ooh, hey, there you go. Toilet paper. <laughs> um, 
Uh, let's see. So does Nightmare actually combo with anything in the deck? It's basically just like neutralize. Uh, we don't have four energy, so we can't like put it on quick slash or anything. We could do it for the powers like footwork uh, and venom. That's kind of neat. Uh, we could do it on shiv. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably take Nightmare. Um, we don't have any discard synergy, so Storm of Steel I think is, is out. Although we do have a lot of uh, sort of Shiv synergy. Um, and it's not impossible that we pick up some pretty interesting discard synergies. Um, we do already have... Um, uh, well laid plans and well laid plans is very good with storm of steel because um, you can just hold on to to storm of, to storm of steel itself until you find the like discard synergy stuff to pair it with. Um, that being said, the well laid plans is also super good with nightmare because you can hold on to either nightmare or the thing that you want to nightmare. Um, so I think I'll pick nightmare. There's the discard synergy I was talking about. Um, Although this actually doesn't really work with uh, with Storm of Shivs because you discard your hand, but then and so you get an extra energy, great, but then you you have a handful of zero cost stuff, so it doesn't really work. Um, nonetheless, Hovering Kite is pretty good. This new version of it uh, is pretty easy to trigger. Uh, although I don't have any um, like dagger throws, which I normally have, uh, so maybe I need to reconsider that, that position because my only discard right now is Survivor. Um, I lose all my Runic Dome decks, uh, although usually lose them in Act 3. Um, I tend to survive Act 2. Um, but uh, there's just there are some fights where it's so dangerous to not be able to see what's coming. Uh, like, uh, like Snake Plant or um, uh, the... What's the other plant one I'm thinking of? Writhing Mass? Uh, it's just like... That fight becomes nearly impossible if you have Runic Dome. Because it's like, I need to block for 40, but also I need to punch him. I don't know how many times I should punch him because I can't see what he's doing. And then you get cursed. Um, I do quite like Astrolabe. Uh, Astrolabe is particularly good if there's like a card that we're looking for. Um, I don't know if there's really a card we're looking for, though. I guess, like, if we turn the strikes into uh, cards that say defend on them anywhere, then that's good with the footwork. If we get shiv synergy stuff, I'm okay with that. Um, and you can always find, like, a wraith form or something, too, right? Like, there's sometimes it's just, like, crazy good. Um... Yeah, Hovering Kite is very good. Um, I, I have no disrespect for Hovering Kite whatsoever. I just don't have any cards that say discard on them. Um, I am always sad being a three energy deck, though. We don't have any energy stuff. We have White Beast Statue, so we've got some extra resources. Sometimes these are energy. At least we didn't find, like, Juzu, right? White Beast Statue plus Juzu is such a nightmare. Or, uh, sorry, not Juzu, um, Sozu. Juzu's the bracelet. Alright, we're gonna do Astrolabe. Uh, we got a backflip, which is great. Crippling Cloud, which is okay. I mean, Crippling Cloud's pretty good with Heal Hook. If we're gonna have Heal Hook. And we have um, Sucker Punch uh, bottled, so I guess we can we can try to keep weak on people. Uh, we'll have to upgrade Sucker Punch and Neutralize if we want Heal Hook to really go off with any regularity. But that's, uh, that's a pretty good outcome. I like it. Got to outscale Champ, which is super difficult with um, Poison decks. Pretty much need to find Catalyst. Um, 
Um, so how do we find catalysts? Well, there's a shop. They might have catalysts. If we go to this shop, we're forced to go to this shop, which is kind of good, but kind of bad. It increases our chance of finding catalysts and removes the overall leverage we're getting out of our gold. Um, we could skip this first shop and just go to the second shop. Um, this early part of the act is just lousy with fights. There's no way to avoid taking like four fights. Um, and then if we go this way, it's an elite, <laughs> a mega elite. Yikes. Um, yeah, I guess we plan on going to the ending here after doing four fights. There's like three ways to do that. Uh, and then if we feel strong, we go to this elite. If we don't, we go to the fire. Probably going to the fire. Um, and then maybe fight one of these elites for that shop. This is going to be a tough act. This is a really bad path. Um, we'll go here um, instead of one of these two. Because if it's... Um, um, I guess if it's ghosts, actually, we need to have a little bit lower current health. Um, so we'll go to one of, the, one of these two. Um, let's see. Probably just Crippling Cloud Sucker Punch here. Keep the weak up. Get a bunch of poison. We could use... We have to use a potion, because otherwise we're not being efficient without our White Beast statue. <clears throat> so I guess I should just Gambler's Brew now. I guess Gambler's Brew is actually pretty good later in the fight, too, though. When you've got, like, a bunch of dazes in your hand. So I guess I'll just hold out for that. There's that heel hook. Heel hook is worth uh, like positive one tenth of a mana too, because we've got Nunchaku. Or I guess it's it costs negative one tenth of a mana. <clears throat> we probably want to deadly poison survivor. Um, that does mean we're going to take one damage and one uh, and two dazes. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I think we want a well-laid plans too. Um, it helps keep the hand size up, so the gambler's brew is better, and also um, um, it helps make sure we have a defend in hand uh, because we've got we've got dazes now, so we could have a bad turn. Uh, Cloak and Dagger gets us an energy. Uh, so probably like Cloak and Dagger backflip, Noxious Fumes, something. Um, I've been banning them. I don't, um, I don't really see the, uh, if, it seems like if one of those people pops up, um, they're just going to do it again in the future, right? Um. So it doesn't, doesn't seem like there's any value to timing them out or anything. I would just ban them. Um, although it is... Um, we, we have to be a little bit careful, right? Because it's, it's possible that... Um, like, when bots come, uh, they tend to come like... There's, there's five of them in a row or something. Um, and then uh, if the chat is a little bit more active, sometimes real people will be like, Haha, I'm a bot, look at me. Um, and then if they uh, accidentally get banned, then that's, that's upsetting. So we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, there's footwork. Um, okay, we'll play footwork too. I'll just take all the dazes. Yeah, Wernithopter would be great. Um, yikes. Um, if we get a hand of all dazes, we just um, gamblers brew it. Time to shuffle. All right, that helps Bok. We get him. Yeah, we got him. Oh wait, that's not lethal. Oh well, we're taking two. It's fine.
speed potion. Calculated gamble? Hmm. Um, we did not take the discard synergy thing. Um, yeah, it needs an upgrade, and we need too many other upgrades, so I'm not going to take an unupgraded one. Um, yeah, this is good for sure. Birds. I like that. Um, I'll take the one with the lowest health who's buffing himself. Boot is so good in this fight. It's like the one fight where Boot is just an all-star. Yikes, um, power potion saved me. Can traps? I mean, Caltrops doesn't actually do that much this turn, because they're, uh, two of them are not multi-attacking. Um, Thousand Cuts does... Let's see, we can make it hit for... 5-7. Maybe we just take a second in Venom. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take Thousand Cuts. Not excited about it, though. Okay, so he's dead, but we're taking 15 still, so we better block more. So he's dead to one attack next turn. I'll probably draw one attack. I guess there's only four cards so I can check. There's no attacks in here, but he's dead to Crippling Cloud too, so. Uh, I think Crippling Cloud is guaranteed lethal next turn. Stupid birds taking 10 to my health. I do like Noxious Fumes, but a second copy of Noxious Fumes is significantly less valuable. Um, and Venom plus Bane is pretty crazy, though. I'll take Bane. That sweet multi-attack. Alright, let's turn into a Ghost. Oh, we can't do that here. Um, I always forget which one of these has a higher expected value. I think it's the 30% the win 250. Um, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, and do we care? Are we hitting any significant breakpoints here? Uh, so we're going down to 184 if we lose, and then we can either go up to uh, 284. Or sorry, we're going down to 134 if we lose. We're going up to 284 if we win. Uh, I think we. We'll, go for the big money. We're going to have enough money to buy um, what's that card called? Um, Catalyst. Either way. Darn. Oh wait, we won. Great. Um... Hmm. I guess we footwork as well. I'm torn between footwork and um, deadly poison. This is happening either way. I think we need to get the cultist dead. Makes me a little bit sad to miss the footwork though. If we go crippling cloud bane, we take four from him and nine from him. It's Thirteen. Um. But we do a ton of damage. 
He goes up to 14 poison and takes 14, so he takes 28 total. He sets up to die next turn. Also, the only block we can do is 5, so... This already blocks for 3. Skipping the second footwork as well. Sure. Good nightmare neutralize. Seems pretty good. We have to take eighteen. I mean, there's no way around that, right? We're just—I guess we're taking slightly less than that because of neutralize. Thirteen's a lot of damage. Uh, this is not lethal. So we should probably speed pot, huh? Well, maybe this is lethal with uh, explosive potion, so we get to choose. If we speed pot, we take three. And if we explosive pot, we take nothing. I think explosive pot. Ten. Plus speed pot's really good if I get artifact pot. Uh, I think I skip here. I'm not super hurting for more damage. Hmm. Yeah, we did not get good relic l luck uh, early on, specifically. Having to bottle a um, Sucker Punch, too, was not fun. Um. Nunchaku's been really good, though. Nunchaku sort of naturally fit the um, Envenom plan really well. And I do I do appreciate getting two health every fight. I think we would, we would be dead probably this turn if we didn't get two health every fight. It's been, it's healed us so far for, I guess this is our fourth fight, so for eight. So we'd be at 15 if we didn't have that one. We'll probably survive this turn anyway, even if we were at 15, but sketchy. Uh, we need to neutralize on Shell Parasite, but I would love to get an armor down with it, um, if possible. I guess we can weaken both. Um, we want to do as close to 15 damage as possible to a boot. Um, so we can do 6 plus 7 is 13, that's not good. Um, 8 plus 6 is 14, it's not quite enough. Uh, I guess 8 plus 7 is 15. We are letting two shivs run into the armor, um, so we miss a little bit there. But, like, there's not really any alternative. We can't do any less than two attacks into the armor this turn. Um, ultimately, we could not try and do damage this turn at all. Um, and we could just... Uh, Survivor, Cloak and Dagger defend. Neutralize. Um, so we probably do ten damage to the Fungi Beast and weaken the Shelled Parasite with that. And then we block for uh, thirteen... Um, uh, 19 and then he would be weakened so he'd be doing um, 16 damage I believe um, so block for 19 take 16 from him and 3 three total that seems okay it's not super exciting but it does 10 damage to the fungi beast as well He did 15 instead of 16. I did my math wrong. Um, 
This is the problem with not doing any damage, is they just keep attacking. Now what do you do? Um, I think now we snack a while. We have Nightmare in hand. Um, so Nightmare is going to get decosted by Sneko Oil, most likely. And we just hope it doesn't screw us. Alright, one Mono Nightmare, zero Mono Deadly Poison. Pretty cool. Um, that's true. I guess I could have... In fact, Cloak and Dagger blocks for more than Defend. Uh, I'm going to restart the fight with that consideration. Hold on. Just straight misplay. For some reason, I was thinking about Cloak and Dagger as an attack card instead of a defense card. But yeah, it totally blocks for more than defend. Um, okay, so if we're doing Survivor double Cloak and Dagger neutralized, then these do um, either 12 damage to armor or 15 damage to um, Fungi Beast. So if I do 12 damage to armor and then neutralize, then we can remove a plated armor. Um, or we can do 15 damage to the Fungi Beast. And set him up to die. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a way better plan. I'm not sure how I got the wrong idea. And then we only take one damage. The combination of frail and vulnerable in this fight is so brutal. It makes it really hard to block, and then um, uh, makes it take you take way more damage. Um, okay, so we can nightmare deadly poison and get three zero cost deadly poisons next turn. Uh, we can also defend for zero. Unfortunately, both of our footworks are super expensive now. One costs three and one costs two, so we're pretty much never playing those most likely. Um, So if we Nightmare, Backflip, um, Defend, Deadly Poison, and then play one of these maybe? One of these cards, I don't have Frozen Eye. Um, I think I like that. Now that we've got Hand Room, let's Backflip as well. Get Noxious Fumes. Uh, Noxious Fumes is pretty good. I think it's better than well laid plans. There's nothing here I'd want to retain anyway. Take a bit of a beating here. Uh, nobody's weak, so heal hook is not not hitting anybody. Um, I think we have to speed pot to stay alive here. Um, very well. Okay, so how do we survive this turn? We need to block for 13, which we can't do. We can weaken him and then draw a card. Uh, or we could kill him. Uh, killing him makes makes uh, Shell Parasite do um, 18 damage. So we'd have to block for 9. Um... Yeah. Wait. No, it doesn't. Lux for five. Um. Uh. Are we going to have to... So, the problem is, if we do that, we block for five, and then we cloak and dagger, and then we die. So, that's not a good plan. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, taking lethal is, uh, it blocks for the whole next run. Incredible. Uh, we can proc Nunchaku, theoretically, if we draw an attack and play it. Um, 
But in order to pull off any of this stuff, we have to Sucker Punch and Heal Hook the Shelled Parasite. Because if we Sucker Punch, Fungi Beastie dies. Um, so we have to, yeah, it doesn't really matter if to talk about like what we would have to draw because this is the literally the only way we can have an out. So we take it. All right, that doesn't help. Um, so I think we're dead. Um, seems like we should do this to kill him. Then that. Maybe we do survive. Let's see, when we're vulnerable, he's gonna do, um, whatever, let's just see if we survive. Cool, we survived. All right, well that was tough. That fight's hard. Got our speed pot back, and an upgraded copy of Bane this time. Hmm. I don't think I want an upgraded copy of Bane. I think the most important part of Bane is that it attacks twice, not that it does 10 damage versus 7. Uh, we definitely need to rest. I talked about this specific moment. I was like, if we feel strong, we can go fight this elite, and if we don't, we can go rest. Uh, we do not feel strong. Uh, okay, well this fight's gonna be hard. We have no AoE. Um, a Dagger Spray would be super good in this deck, but we don't have one. Um, we could Footwork Weldly Plans and then keep a Cloak and Dagger and set up for next turn. Um, the Weak doesn't do anything because it wears off. Uh, if we go too slow though, they are going to overwhelm us. Um, also, if we save the, if we attack this turn, we get an extra energy, which is awkward because we don't need the extra energy this turn. We need it next turn, so saving cloak and dagger seems pretty good. Yeah, definitely went to that shop intentionally with only 150 gold. Oh no. Um, okay, we're super dead here, but um, let's crippling cloud heal hook, draw a card. Um, and then we can Cloak and Dagger. Um, I guess let's quick slash and see what we're drawing. Unless we want to Cloak and Dagger Noxious Fumes. Noxious Fumes is kind of slow in this fight. Um, we're not going to draw a card that's better than Cloak and Dagger, though. So, like, best case scenario, we draw, like, the strike and we don't have to deal with it next turn. So I think we just Noxious Fumes. Noxious Fumes only takes, like, two turns to catch up to Quick Slash in terms of damage. Uh, I forgot that I had Wildlife Plants developed. Be nice if we had like a corpse explosion or something right now. That'd be fun. Um, so we can cloak and dagger double defend and only take two. If we cloak and dagger, we can kill this cultist so we can actually block out. I guess, let's see, quick slash does nine so it doesn't kill the cultist. So we can uh, Cloak and Dagger um, defend and then something else, either Quick Slash or Deadly Poison, since we're killing this cultist. Uh, do we want Quick Slash or Deadly Poison? Uh, I don't really want to draw any of these right now. I'd rather play Deadly Poison, so I'll do Deadly Poison. I guess we'll get started on you. Quick slash, always the bridesmaid, never put the bride. Retained for three turns, and never played. Um, uh, wow, they attack for a lot. Uh, we can backflip for a shuffle. Backflip, survivor, defend, 
blocks out, but doesn't do anything else. Um. Uh. If we quick slash now, we take 12. So I guess we'll have to defend. I'm not sure what we can get that makes the next turn good. Alright, so hopefully we can, like, shiv you or something to death. Yeah, neutralize, kills you. Hmm. Actually, maybe we don't want to neutralize him, because we want to heal hook on somebody who's alive. And then draw one of the cloak and daggers, kill him with one of those. Okay. That's not a cloak and dagger. I guess it doesn't matter, we got lethal. Alright, well we survived that fight. But this deck is uh, trending downhill, and not in a slow way. Uh, but maybe we're going to a shop with 400 gold, picking up a leg sweep here. I guess we could go for a backflip too. Um, the deck is doesn't have really enough energy to support either one of those plans. Um, and we need the weak. Uh, so I think I'll go with leg sweep. We could take deflect. We have a lot of decks and not very much energy, so deflect is quite a bit better than normal. But deflect is quite a bit worse than leg sweep on a normal day, so I'm not sure if that really makes up for the difference. Um, hmm. Alright, in, in a perfect world, we're going to get neutralized and Sucker Punch upgraded eventually, so maybe we don't need more weak to get heal hook going. We also have Crippling Cloud, and we can't really support more backflips because we have three energy, so I think I am actually going to take the Deflect. Uh, we definitely need to go to this shop to power up before the Elite, or else we die. Hallway Fight Elite definitely kills us, like 100%. Uh, membership card is free, so I'll take that. Um, we could buy Fruit Juice. That kind of helps us survive. For some reason, we could buy a Nightmare for 40 gold now. Um, despite the fact that, that was like our our boss card reward, we get li rid of the last strike. Sadistic nature is pretty good. We apply a lot of debuffs. Yeah, insect is probably the pick. That's true. Um, if we buy insect and sadistic nature, can we afford? Um, catalyst if we see it at the next shop. It costs um, 179, so we'd have uh, like 90 left. Um, if we do all that and card remove, we have the best chance of surviving the elite. Um, but I think I'll skip the card remove so that I have enough gold at the next shop. Sadistic Nature is kind of an out there pick. I pretty much never play that card, but it's uh, it's really good right now. So maybe Crippling Cloud. Crippling Cloud's crazy with Sadistic Nature, right? I was complaining earlier about not having enough AOE. Slavers and Gremlins both need AOE. Um, okay, against Gremlin Leader, does Crippling Cloud kill Gremlins? Um, with uh, assuming that Sadistic Nature is up, um, so it does four damage, and then it does six damage, so it does ten. Um, I think even the, the smallest gremlin, the sneaky gremlin, usually has at least 11 life. Um, so I don't think it's, it's going to practically kill people, but um, that is still really good. So I think I will take it. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, calipers, very useful. Maybe we take um, Sapphire Key over calipers. There's no way we're triggering calipers in the run. Really great relics this run. Really absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, there's Deflect coming up. Um, I was counting Sadistic twice. Yeah, it does three damage. Um, base, uh, and I was saying six damage. Uh, Crippling Cloud plus, and then Noxious Fumes Deflect. Let's see, maybe it's better to get the footwork down. 
Footwork deflect blocks for six. Footwork. Um, we're gonna do cloak and dagger maybe. Block for the rest. We should definitely play Noxious Fumes. Noxious Fumes is super good in the fight. Um, we could just Noxious Fumes, Crippling Cloud, and then like po Poison Potion on the leader and just try and burst him down. Um, we probably don't have the the damage for that. All right, I think I like Footwork, Noxious Fumes, Cloak and Dagger. We get to save this Crippling Cloud for later when we've got Citizen Nature up. Yikes. Um. Okay, so if we, uh, we have 33 plus 15 coming in. 33 plus 15 is 48. Um, if we speed pot, we can block for 12 plus um, 13 and die. Um, uh, okay, so we can kill this guy maybe. Um, Bane hits twice, second one does five damage. So yeah, that, Bane kills him. And then we can still do the max block. And in Venom, actually, because of uh, the Shocker. Um, well, I mean, I guess this is what we're doing, right? So. Looks like we're surviving. I'm going to Poison Potion on the Wizard. We're not getting an enough damage in on him, and we need to kill him next turn. Nice to nature. Um, so, Sadistic Nature, uh, Crippling Cloud, Heal Hook. getting there. Yeah, Sadistic Nature plus um, plus all these powers seems super good. I don't think we're going to survive, but it's going to be close. A little bit. Um, yeah, I think we used up our speed pot turn a little early. Uh, so we're taking 24, 34 now. We're only blocking for 17. Doesn't look like we can practically kill any of the Mad Gremlins. Well, I guess we just take the max block and see if it's enough. Well, I'm fairly certain it is not. Yeah. Okay, well, this is a challenging run. Starting off with the boot, it's not a, <laughs> not a good way to do things. Um, I want to...